we do not keep potatoes in fridge. They go bad in fridge as their starch converts to sugar. We store them at room temperature in a dry place. Good for us, they save us space in the fridge. If our memory is fridge, then potatoes are habits. They save us space in memory. Also, if kept long enough, they can grow the roots of a good character because you will be keeping habits in room temperature anyway. In the early 1990s, a group of MIT researchers performed one experiment on rats. In the experiment, rats were trained again and again to do the same task. The task was to find a piece of chocolate kept on the left corner of a T-shaped maze. The rats initially walked like taking strolls. They were scratching walls, going in other directions and were taking quite some time to reach the chocolate. From their behavior, it was apparent that they had no intention of finding the chocolate. But with reputation, they became better at navigating the maze. They started reaching the chocolate faster. When looked at their brain activity, a new discovery was made. Initially, when the rats were not so good at navigating the maze, its brain exploded with activity as each rat sniffed the air or scratched a wall. As each rat learned how to navigate the maze, its mental activity decreased. As the route became more and more automatic, each rat started thinking less and less. In the book, The Power of Habit, the author Charles Tahik writes, Habits, scientists say, emerge because the brain is constantly looking for ways to save effort. After mentioning the rat experiment, the author also mentions that an efficient brain allows us to stop thinking constantly about basic behaviors like walking or deciding what to eat. If we have a good habit, it can save us a lot of dilemma and unnecessary thinking. When a habit emerges, our brain stops fully participating in decision making. For example, I hope you do not wake up every day and try to think whether to brush my teeth today or not. Your brain has stopped fully participating in that decision making as it has become a habit already. Likewise, if you develop the habit of going for a run every day, your brain will gradually stop fully participating in the decision making process of whether to tie my shoelace today or not. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Did it encourage you to work on a new habit? If it did, then give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below what habit you are going to start. You can also let me know other stories like whether you have started a new habit recently and how you are doing it where you are right now. Don't forget to let me know that in the comment section down below. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to YNZ for our latest videos. I'll see you in my next video. Till then keep watching YNZ.